In this tutorial, we'll look at how to change colors in Bootstrap with SAS. All right, so I have a simple Bootstrap project here. I'm not using the CDN links, but I've installed it with NPM. I have a whole video on how to set that up properly. You may have a slightly different folder structure or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you're going to have some kind of main SAS file, right? And you need to include all of Bootstrap. And the first thing that we're going to look at is simply overriding um, the primary and secondary color, right? So just as an example here in the documentation, they show you how they have the, how they have implemented this. So they're using theme colors and um, they're, they're using a subset of all colors to create a smaller colored palette for generating color schemes. You know, a very typical example of these would be these buttons, right? So let's just copy all of these buttons. I'm going to paste them in the HTML. I'm going to format it by Shift Alt F. And I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh here. So now we have these buttons. Let me actually quickly put them in a container class from Bootstrap. And I will also add some margin on the top. So they're not sitting right against the edge of the viewport. And then we're going to look at how we can change those colors. I'm going to refresh here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, now the easiest way to change colors is to go into your SAS file. And before you import all of Bootstrap, you can actually just set a value for, for example, primary. All right, so this primary button is actually using that primary variable and so you can set it to anything you want i can set it to black the only thing i have to do here is save and actually i need to compile this right because my html is linking to a css file this is sas so i have an extension here watch sas and it will compile this for me again i have a whole video on how to set it up properly including compilation with sas so now if i refresh here you can see that this background color has become black right i can set it to red and then Refresh here, it's red. Right, so this is the easiest way of changing those colors, just setting those uh, variables they have. Now, if you want to know all the variables they have, you can go into the, the source code here for Bootstrap, SAS, and here they have a partial file with all the variables. Right, so they're using this, this um, default flag. So what's going to happen is if, it's, if, if you haven't set it yet, this will be the default value. Right? But if you already set it here, it will simply use this. Right? So that's that's simply how they set things up. And they have blue colors, they have indigo, right? They have all these colors out of the box. You can overwrite this, or it's not really overriding, you're actually just setting it. You can set blue because this is actually the color that the primary uses as well. You can set that to some other color other color if you want. So you can look in there, you can look, you can find all the variables that you can change. That's the easiest way. Now the second way is a little bit more uh, sophisticated but in that case what we're going to do is we're going to add something to these theme colors right so they have some primary secondary success we can also have our own for example um you know orange or yellow or like royal purple right so let's actually see how we can do that and then also um the cool thing is we can get our own classes here right so if we have some kind of royal purple class we will actually get a class available with that name Right, so let's see how we can do that. Now to do that, we do need to link to two things, the variables uh, partial, and also we, we need to import this and also the functions partial. Let's see where it is. Okay, so we need to import these two things before we can start working with it. I'm just gonna copy this. So it's variables. I don't have to include the underscore because it's a partial in SAS. Um, let's see, this should be the correct path. So then what we can do is we can create our own custom map, right? So they're using a so-called map in SAS. Let me zoom in a little bit, right? What we're going to do is we're going to create our own map. And then we're going to we're going to merge it with this theme colors map, right? So we're going to say custom colors. This is typically how it's done. And you can add as many as you want, right? So let's say something like royal green, right? Some kind of green yellow color or uh, actually no semicolon here. Uh, maybe just some kind of green color, right? And you can add more, right? So you can add another one. You can add as many entries as you want. So this is now our own custom map. And now we want to merge it with these theme colors that already exist. We're going to add it basically. So theme colors, we're going to say uh, map merge. And we're going to merge it with, well, the theme colors. And then with our own colors. And so it's basically just going to add it to the theme colors. And what this will do is we, we will get a new theme colors map, but now there will be something like royal green added to that. And there's many advantages to that, but one of the things we also get is now we, we can use that as a, as, as a class name here for these buttons. So we can say royal green, for example. So if I save here and refresh, you can see we now have um, a, a sort of a green color for that button. If I change it to some blue color, actually let's make it, and I save again and refresh, now it's, it's uh, that orangey color, 
By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.